The Justice Minister rang alarm bells recently when he started talking about hate speech laws because he said there's going to be a review. Now he said this in the light of the terror attacks in Christchurch and of course at this stage we should be exploring every possible avenue to ask how could we prevent such an atrocity happening again. But the approach he's taken means that there's a lot that could go wrong. First, he didn't just say there's going to be a review, he's already decided the law needs to change. That's putting the cart before the horse because that's exactly the question that the review itself should be asking. Second, he said the government's going to work with the Human Rights Commission to produce a proposal and then they're going to put that out to the public for consultation. That means the government's going to get a long way down the track before they get anybody else involved in the consultation. And there's a real risk that the main decisions get taken without any genuine diversity of voices in the process. It's a complex issue, but not everything that's wrong should be a crime, especially when there's a risk of going too far. That's definitely the case with hate speech laws. For example, they could be used to suppress minority speech, which has already happened in the past. The government needs to take a pause and open up the process to get more voices involved in the conversation. It also needs to drop the presumption that the law needs to change. Speech matters, and it would be unfortunate if a review on our speech laws ended up taking place in an echo chamber.